guys, my name is Ashley and I'm a mom of two little girls. I have a two and a half year old toddler named Kylie and then I have six month old baby Mia right here next to me today. As part of the baby led weaning mini series that I started last week where I shared all of the basics with you guys, I wanted to spend the next couple of videos that are gonna be a little bit shorter, just kind of going into some of the details of the things that you guys ask me about most often. And one of the number one things is how do you get your baby to drink from an open cup? As I shared in the first video, a lot of people start out their babies on sippy cups once they start drinking water and our family follows a Montessori approach to eating so we actually skip the sippy cups altogether and we start our babies out on a tiny little open glass cup just like this one so Mia here is about two weeks into her solid food adventures and we started her out on one of these little glass cups from the very first day that she ever tried solid foods as I did mention in the basics video these cups are made of real tempered glass I will link them below in case you're interested in checking checking them out. I use these same cups with my toddler Kylie and she, believe it or not, has not broken a single one of them because of the fact that they are tempered when they fall on the ground from not a very far distance, they are actually pretty good at standing up to the fall and they don't break. So teaching your baby how to drink from one of these cups is actually not as hard as you might imagine. Your basic approach is just going to be hand over hand guidance for every single part of the steps from picking the cup up to drinking to setting it back down until they begin to kind of master each of those steps on their own. And it does take a lot of time. Now Mia is just six months old, so she is just in the very beginning stages of learning how to do this. And you'll see that her movements are very spastic. She kind of like grabs the cup with a really hard Kung Fu grip most of the time but eventually that will subside. As she gets a little bit older and her movements become a little bit more refined, she'll learn what the process of drinking from a cup feels like for her. She'll have better muscle memory and she'll begin to start doing some of those steps on her own. But again, it's a progression. So let me go ahead and show you real quick what her drinking from a cup looks like right now. This is kind of your first stage in teaching the baby how to drink from the cup. So as you can see, I don't have a lot of water in the cup. It's literally maybe about a half an inch of water are just enough for a few sips because you don't want them sputtering and choking all over everything that you've offered them. They do have to learn how to take sips and actually swallow. So a little bit of sputtering does happen, but that's normal. Can I have this for a minute? Thank you. All right, so I'm not gonna let go of the cup. I'm gonna put it in front of her. She, you can see she grabbed it all by herself. I'm gonna help her lift it up to her lips. And again, the drinking motion is something that's new. So you don't wanna pour the whole cup into their mouth at once bring it the water level up to their lips enough that she can kind of feel it there and start taking some sips. And then when you kind of feel like it's a normal break time, you can help them set it back down. So you can see she's grabbing the cup a little bit. So I'm gonna help move her hand so that she doesn't grab it too hard. And there we go. And then we set it back down. Sometimes I'll even take the cup away for a minute, but put it back down. She grabs it. She already has this motion down after just two weeks of the idea that the cup needs to come to her lips. So it's a pretty natural learning process as long as you're being consistent and doing it the same way every time. Oh, she wants more. Okay. Oh, there's no more left. You drank it all. <laughs> so then we set it back down. Okay. So I got a little bit more water. We'll try this one more time. You want some more? Okay. Here we go. So I'm giving her an opportunity to swallow at her own pace. And if she looks like she wants to take a break for a second from the cup, then I tip it back for her. Just like we would normally do when we're drinking. And when it's like she's done, we set it back down. Now, the one thing I will say that I haven't mentioned because I've been talking the whole time is every single time your baby picks up the cup, pair it with a phrase, two hands, please. Do that every single time. And when they set it back down, say, okay, set it back down gently. All right. You can have that back. Thank you for your help. Mm -hmm. So the importance of pairing the baby lifting up the cup and setting it back down with a simple phrase like that is the idea that as your baby becomes a little bit more verbal, they're gonna understand what you're saying. So if you're constantly reminding them every single time, two hands please, they eventually do internalize it for themselves and they remember on their own eventually to pick it up with two hands every time. And of course it's important that you're modeling the same thing as well. The same thing goes for when they set it back down, you tell them set it back down gently and you kind of model making sure 
sure that they're not slamming the cup down on the table. And then eventually they do end up actually starting to set the cup down gently by themselves. So here in this clip, you can see my toddler Kylie when she was just about 12 months old. I think this was a week after her first birthday, drinking from a cup independently, entirely by herself from start to finish. This was something that she started doing also when she was six months old. So you can see that it does take quite a bit of time for them to master, but eventually they do get there with enough practice and with enough patience and modeling on your part. So this is Kylie now at two and a half years old and she's just having a snack and she <laughs> kindly offered to demonstrate for me how she very nicely picks up and gently sets her cup back down now that she has completely mastered it. <laughs> Are you proud of yourself? You should be. One question that I do get asked quite often about these cups is what happens if your baby throws it? Again, in the beginning, you're always holding on to the cup until they actually look like they're ready to learn how to hold it by themselves. And it is a bit of a trial and error process. You just kind of have to feel it out and you know, let go at some point and see what happens. Um, but I would definitely wait until you legitimately feel like they're ready. Otherwise, yes, they could chuck the cup across the room. And I will tell you that that actually did happen with Mia. I think the second or third day, she just, she got a really good hold of the cup and chucked it and it went flying across the room. It just happens. It's part of the process. But again, that's why I recommend using these little tempered glass cups because they are much less prone to actually breaking. It didn't break and we have hardwood floors here in our dining room. Kylie also dropped one of these cups when she was about eight or nine months old at her grandparents' house when we were visiting for the holidays and they have tile flooring and it didn't break on their tile floor either. So these cups are actually pretty sturdy. So as far as the progression for how much water to offer your child in the cup, again, you saw that I only put just enough for a few sips in there. And the reason for that is A, you don't want them to choke on the water constantly. Just That's just not a very positive experience for them starting out. So just a little bit and a little bit of sputtering is okay as they learn to swallow. It's not going to harm them. But you will eventually notice that you're seeing your baby very accurately take sips and swallow all of the water that's in the cup. And when it gets to a point where they're swallowing all of the water, like in the first sip and they're kind of looking around like, okay, where's the rest of it? That's when you can start offering them a little bit more. So much of this is using your judgment as a parent. When you feel like your baby is ready for the next step, then they probably are. And that's when you can move on. I did use these little glasses with Kylie for a very, very long Long time until basically she would drink all of what was in the cup in like one sitting and then it got to a point where she was actually telling me that she was still thirsty I graduated to the bigger juice size glass cups these are what I would recommend for an older toddler or a preschooler to use these are just far too big for a little baby as you can see okay way too big for her but they are perfectly sized for a toddler's hands what's great about both of these glasses is that they're actually kind of heavy on the bottom because of the way that they're designed so they don't tip over very easily if your child happens to knock into it the way a plastic cup would. If the glass does happen to break, then it's a lesson in your child learning that glass breaks, it's fragile, and that it should be handled with a little bit more care. I would not suggest demonstrating this for your child. There's not really a need for that. They do eventually pick it up all on their own, just again from you modeling that they need to be careful whenever they use these types of materials. That is also the reason that I like to buy these glasses in sets. Just in case they do break, then you're not out of your child's one and only glass you have others if you guys have any questions about something that I mentioned in this video today or if you have any tips of your own about teaching your baby how to drink from an open cup that were successful for you then please be sure to share them in the comments down below I'm sure the rest of us would love to read them in next week's baby led weaning video I will be going over how to prepare and cut up all the different types of food that you might want to experiment with in the very beginning stages of baby led weaning so stay tuned for that thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye